City Commissioner Mingus Maps and others rode bike town bikes to the gathering, then walked them down a ramp at Portland State University's Urban Plaza. They came to make an announcement about the bike share program that started with human-powered orange bikes back in 2016. The fleet today is all easier to pedal e-bikes, and more people are using them. People took 576,000 rides in 2022, a 60% increase from 2021. And the general manager for Bike Town says 2023 is on track to top that. So the big news. To meet this growing demand for Bike Town, we're increasing the size and scale of the system from 1,500 e-bikes to 2,000 e-bikes. You'll see these drop on the ground starting today over the course of the summer. Bike Town is a joint effort between operator Lyft and partners Nike and Peabot. Commissioner Maps, who oversees Peabot, is pretty excited about the 500 bike expansion and the e-bike experience. These bikes are incredibly cool and awesome. Uh, you feel like a superhero being able to ride uphill uh, uh, like, uh, like Grease Lightning. As for Nike, whose recycled rubber from shoemaking is part of the bike stations, they say their commitment from day one has been to get people moving with sustainable transportation. And those goals have not changed. We are still committed to getting people moving every day. We met a regular Bike Town rider who pulled up after the event. She said it's been a lot harder to find a bike these days. So, yeah, I'm happy to see them put all this into it because I was about, I was getting really angry and like, I just need to get my own bike. Maps says he is glad to get more bikes out there as part of Portland's comeback. This Bike Town program is one of the things that makes Portland special. Uh, um, it's fun, it's convenient, it's affordable. Um, if you haven't been downtown for a while, I encourage you to jump on one of these bikes and take a ride around. So if you've always wanted to ride one of these Bike Town bikes but never have, well, Saturday is Earth Day and anyone can ride one for free for an hour. Tim Gordon, KGW News.